So ostrigonum is a often overlooked and often misdiagnosed condition uh, of the ankle. Patients typically present uh, with posterior ankle pain. What happens is this is an extra bone that never fuses in the back of the talus. It's attached to a small little fibrous band and oftentimes it's very asymptomatic. So essentially they're born with two bones in the back and the normal course is that that bone fuses and becomes one bone. Unfortunately for these patients, it doesn't fuse. And typically it's a soccer player um, or a volleyball player, often a basketball player, or even a dancer. They get a hyperflexion of their foot. So their foot hyperflexes and it locks that or knocks that little bone in the back of their ankle loose and causes pain. So symptomatically, it's posterior ankle pain, um, a type of injury where they hyperflex their foot. For a baseball player, for example, oversteps a base and their heel hits the back of a base and their foot plantar flexes and it causes what's called like a nutcracker in the back of their heel. The calcaneus bone jams up into the tibia and it knocks that bone loose and becomes pain, painful and most people don't know what that is and so they hard to see sometimes on x-ray if it's not a perfect lateral and so they come in with posterior ankle pain. So on exam, they typically have pain in the very back. It's anterior to the Achilles tendon just in back of the tibia. Um, they'll have a normal walking exacerbated by running. Um, again, on x-ray you can see a, a, sometimes a, a big, big, almost a ball of bone in the back. An MRI is really your, is your key image to get um, because what it'll show is it'll show that loose piece of bone that's detached from the talus and you'll see this big fluid, of bo fluid around that bone. And oftentimes it's very difficult to treat non-operatively because you can put them in a boot and try to calm them down, but oftentimes once that bone gets knocked loose, um, they typically don't do that well. But if you were gonna go down to non-operative treatment, it would be rest, ice, compression, uh, immobilization in a boot just to calm things down. But generally speaking, I tell patients, this is typically a surgical intervention because it, it's such a great procedure, it has such a high success rate. Um, in the past, you would have to make an incision and do an open dissection and the nerve vascular structures are right there. It's pretty risky and take that bone out because you're not going to fix it, you just take it out. Where we've developed, a, a, we can do this arthroscopically, we go in from the very back and we do a posterior ankle scope where we can access this bone through two small poke holes, grab that bone and we, all we're doing is just removing it so we're not really fixing anything, we're just taking this away and oftentimes this is an outpatient 20 minute procedure, two poke holes, soft dressing, a walking boot, they can walk afterwards very satisfying and probably play go return to sports as early as four to six weeks and, uh, and that usually does it. For more information on Ostrigonum you can visit nilsnorthopedics.com.